Hey, Mikey, don't drink that stuff. Nah, it'll be fine. <laughs> See, I told you it'd be fine. Daddy! Hey, boys and girls. Welcome to another super exciting, outrageous toy review. Today, we're taking a look at Michelangelo, the 11-inch figure from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows. You can see it's a big Mikey figure there. He looks pretty happy. He comes with two nunchucks, which is really awesome, and he's nicely detailed. Back of his box shows off the other turtles, as well as Bebop and Rocksteady. So you can get a pretty nice collection of these 11-inch figures. No Krang, no Shredder, no April, but you know, the really important guys are here. Let's get ready to take him out of the package. All right, here's 11-inch Mikey out of the package. He's pretty cool. I love his happy face. He's got his sunglasses hanging from his chain there. He's got his straps and his little sweatshirt on over top of his black and orange shorts. He's got his sneakers there, and he comes with nunchucks. The thing I really like about these nunchucks, they have real chains, so you can actually swing them around. Ah, a fellow chucker, eh? One of my favorite lines from the original Ninja Turtle movie. Um, it's pretty neat. He's got that backpack sculpted on there. In the movie, we saw he always had a skateboard tucked in there, uh, but they didn't sculpt that on there. He's got little clips here that you can use to hold the nunchucks or let them hang from, so that's kind of nice to be able to store his weapons. And he's got articulation at the head. He's got articulation at the shoulders. He's got articulation at the elbow, the wrists. And then he's got pretty good articulation at the hips. The sweatshirt does get in the way a little bit. And he's also got knee articulation. Nothing at the nothing at the ankles. Oh wait, he has swivels at the ankles. I didn't notice that. I wonder if Raph had those. I didn't notice any swivel at Raph, but it makes sense with Mikey here because he has the cut already because of the sneakers. Uh, so he's really nicely detailed, especially, I mean, look at the, the hood of the sweatshirt and everything's back there. That's pretty cool. He's got some great turtle skin texture on his face and his shoulders and everything. Uh, I'm pretty excited about this guy. Here's the three 11-inch Ninja Turtles I have all together. I still gotta get Donnie sometime, but you can see Mikey, Raph, and Leo all together. They make a really nice set together. You can see there's some different uh, elements of their physicality. Michelangelo's shorter, Raph's beefier, Leo's kind of in the middle, you know, he's got pretty slender arms, and it makes for a really fun team when you get them all together there. I especially like the all the detail they put into them. It is a little bit of a shame that they're all the same skin tone, but that's kind of what they've been doing with this toy line, uh, making them all the same color green, but I think it's fun when they have slightly different shades. I got to give a special shout out to Playmates Toys for sending this guy over so we can take a look at him. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the small-scale Mikey and the 11-inch Mikey. You can see they're very similar, although the face is different. Uh, this one has a little bit more detail, and of course his eyeball pupils are painted in there, which makes him uh, seem a little bit more lifelike. One thing I noticed that's different also, though, is the little Mikey has the white on his sneakers, and the big one just has those gray stripes. So that's kind of interesting that the uh, paint applications don't completely match between the figures. Let me know in the comments below who your favorite Ninja Turtle is. Thanks for watching this super exciting, outrageous toy review. Make sure to like and subscribe. Check out our other Ninja Turtle videos. Cowabunga! Oh!